Hello all, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, my name is Pamela Sean. Today I am gonna be doing a little organization in my master bathroom. It is a hot mess. So I'm gonna be organizing this mess you see here under my sink. I'm gonna also organize the drawers and under my husband's sink. It is cluttered. I can never find what I am looking for. I have lots of hair products um, such as shampoo, conditioner. I have a bunch of curling irons, a lot of oils, all kinds of stuff that I have in here. And I can never find anything. I just find myself tossing everything under the sink. So today I am going to get my life honey and I am going to get this organized. Here are my three drawers that's on my side also. And yes, they are hot mess also. My husband don't have any drawers. He just has the cabinets under his sink. So he don't have much to keep up with. But this is all of my mess. Okay, so this is under my husband's sink. Of course, his is not as bad as mine. Because I mean, what? He's bald. He doesn't have anything to brush a comb. He just needs to shave and shine it up and move forward. So he don't have as much as I have. He does have some of the baby stuff under his sink. So I'm going to organize that. But overall, there's not a lot of work that needs to be done under his sink. So to start off, I'm going to start decluttering under my sink. I'm going to get rid of anything that I have that I'm not using. I'm going to also get rid of anything that is expired. Um, anything that I have that I'm just not using anymore, I don't need. I'm going to get rid of everything. I'm going to pull up that mat right there and also clean under, which I'm going to do to all of them, all the drawers and the cabinets. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and start adding everything back in. So I'm going to speed through this rather quickly because... I mean, what you guys want to see is how I organize it, right? So that's what we're going to move forward to. I'm going to use these white mats to put down so that the shelves aren't moving around too much. But it also looks cleaner, and it is cleaner because the ones that we had before were so old and dirty. So these racks I purchased from Amazon and then the little clear trays I purchased from Garden Ridge. I could not get that white sticky part off. I scrubbed, I used oil, but I couldn't. The Amazon racks that I purchased here, I am going to try to find a link and post it in the description box. It's just that every time I try to post a link, for some reason, it's really, really long. I'm not really sure why. I look at other people's links and it's not that long. So I'm going to try to go ahead and post it in the description box just in case you guys are interested. So here I'm just going through everything, seeing if it's expired, seeing what I use and what I don't use. Anything that is expired or that I don't use, I will be getting rid of it. I'm also going to wipe everything down before I place it in the plastic container so that it can be nice and clean. And then I'll place everything back into the cabinets. So this little rack I use to put my curling irons and my blow dryer, but my blow dryer will not fit on that side. It won't, the door will not shut, so I won't be able to put it there. So because my blow dryer will not go where it's supposed to go, I'm going to use these command strips. You peel the red piece off, press it against the hook, peel off the black piece of tape, the black and white piece of tape there, and then you press it on the cabinet or wherever you're hanging it and just make sure that you're pressing it on really, really tight so it won't come off. These are good to use because it won't damage anything. It won't peel off the paint or anything like that. Um, it's really simple and easy to get off. So I'm going to use that to hang my curling iron and my blow dryer. 
the blow dryer will not fit on the little rack that I bought on the other side of the door, so it's all good. I'm just gonna use this instead. So here's my husband's sink. As I said before, it is not as cluttered as mine is. So I'm just gonna take everything out, get rid of what we don't need, pull up the little mat that's down, clean everything off, and then again, put everything back in. Now to start on the drawers. This drawer is so disgusting. I am so embarrassed, you all, but whatever. I am getting my whole life right now because already it is smelling good, it is looking good, and it's nice and clean. So I'm just gonna do the same thing with the cabinets, getting rid of the things that I don't need and putting everything back in, you know, nice and neat. So God saved you all because I forgot to show this drawer when I was showing all the other ones, but trust me, it was not a sight to look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it cleaned out and then I'll show you all what I'll be doing with this drawer in just a moment. So after I was halfway done, I realized I still had some containers left and I forgot what I had them for, but I did make use of them and you'll get to see that also. But voila, y'all, look. Look how nice and clean it looks. Oh my God, it's so much better than what it was before. So in this drawer right here, I just have a lot of my lotions, oils, shaving creams, things like that. At the top up here, I have some hair oil, some face wash that I really don't use, but I'm gonna keep it for when I run. Um, over here, I have a lot of hair products, shampoo and conditioner, and the same thing down here. A lot of hair masks and deep conditioners. 
So these are my round pads. They're soaking in the toner that I use. This is my microdermabrasion. Um, I have not used this yet, but hopefully I'll get to use it this week. But in this container, that's everything that goes to that microdermabrasion little thingy there. This is my um, makeup brush cleaner. It's a bit dirty, I gotta clean it. And then in this little container, I keep my shaving, razors, and refills. So this is under my husband's sink. It looks all nice and clean. In this drawer, he has his razors, some jewelry cleaner in the back, and then our little Vanity Planet spin brushes. We really don't use them, but I'm gonna keep them anyway, just in case. And then at the top up here, he has some alcohol, a little spray can back there is the cleanest clippers. We have some keto strips, test strips, because we are doing the keto diet. Um, over here, some of the baby stuff, we have a lot of toothbrushes and um, more floss and things like that. And then in this drawer, this is just our little med drawer for when the kids hurt themselves or anything like that. We have some peroxides and band-aids and cotton um, rounds and things like that. And so right here, we have more jewelry cleaner, his brush, his mirror that he used to cut his hair and some mouthwash in the back. But this is completely it, you all. It looks so good. So now we need to move forward so I can show you all what I did to the drawers because it looks so good. Okay, so look how clean this drawer looks. It looks so good. So on the left over there, we have our Crest toothpaste. Um, his tongue scraper is also over there. Um, next to that at the top is his whitening mouth guards. We have some floss under that, some round pads under that. More to the right, we have my whitening mouth guards, some moisturizer for our lips and my lip scrubs, some Q-tips, and then on the right, my Sensodyne, my lip scrubbers, and then my tongue scraper. I do have to use Sensodyne sometimes because my teeth are so sensitive in the back when I floss and I brush. So this is the drawer that I went back and added containers to. You can see that my baby container is right there with his toothbrush and toothpaste in it. And behind that, I have my contacts, my contact solution at the top. On the left, you can see I have my whitening gel and then some little dental care to clean my teeth with. So here's the second drawer on that side where I have all of my skincare products. And yes, I said all. If you guys are interested in seeing an updated skincare routine, just comment down low and let me know. But yes, this is all of my skincare products. I have some face masks, face wash, serum, all of that good stuff in this drawer. So the very last drawer is just some things that I use for my hair on a daily basis. I wanted to keep it close, brushes, scarves, bonnets, and some attachments to the blow dryer. So I wanted to show you all our mouthwash. I purchased these jars from the at-home store. It's meant for liquor, but I'm using it for our mouthwash. I think it is so cute. My husband kept looking at it and told me, man, this looks so elegant. <laughs> but here are face towels. I purchased this container from Home Goods. It has a lid to go to it, and I thought it was so cute and a good way to store our face towels. I put two flowers on the side of it that I also purchased from Home Goods. And I just really like it. I think it's so cute, nice and sleek. So this is the end of the video, you guys. Please give it a big thumbs up. I hope you like and enjoyed it. Um, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all next week.